Hey there, everybody. What's up? I'm out here doing some photography today. It's a beautiful winter day, and it reminded me I'm not shooting a vlog today, so I'm not out doing video, but being out here in the cold reminded me that I promised some people I would do a video about uh, condensation and water condensing on your lenses and camera gear and that kind of stuff when you bring it from the cold to the warm. And that's actually an inaccurate statement. Uh, I'll get to that in a minute. But so that's what I'm going to do today is try and address that, uh, explain what's happening there, and then explain how I manage that. The simplest answer is I don't worry about it 99% of the time. Uh, and the reason being is that we have hardly any humidity here. I live in a very dry climate here uh, in Grand Teton National Park, Yellowstone. Just this, this part of the world is a very dry place. And uh, so there's not much moisture in the air to condense on to your lens or your camera or whatever. So what's happening? Why does moisture condense on your gear? Uh, a lot of people seem to think that it's Anytime you're moving from a cold environment to a warm environment, that's what's going to make moisture condense on your lens. And that's uh, incorrect. It's part of the puzzle, so it's an incomplete answer of what's going on. What's really going on is uh, anytime your camera is colder than the dew point of the air around it. Okay, So if, if your camera gets really cold and then you bring it into an environment where the dew point is above the temperature of your camera, then moisture is going to condense on that. All right? So you can look up the dew point on your phone. Like if you're looking, what's the weather today? And it says it's 10 degrees outside. Like right now, I checked right before I came here and it said it's 10 degrees outside and the dew point is minus 2 degrees. So that means if the temperature fell down to minus 2 degrees, then we'd start to see moisture condensing out of the air, and that would mean fog. Uh, similarly, if I had, uh, if it's minus two, and the dew point is minus two, and my camera is at minus ten degrees for whatever reason, then moisture is going to condense on that camera. So, in this environment, it's very dry, so that dew point is very, very low. And uh, that's why I don't worry about it. So inside my car, it's much warmer. Like right now, if I went into the car, say it's 60 degrees in there. But the dew point is still like minus 2 degrees. Uh, it'd actually be slightly different than that. But I'm not introducing any moisture into the vehicle. So I'm not changing that dew point. Uh, you know, if there were five people in the car and we're all drinking coffee that's steaming and we're all breathing heavily and we're sweating because we were just out, you know, hiking, snowshoeing or something, then our bodies are introducing a bunch of moisture into the vehicle that's going to increase the humidity, which is going to make that dew point come up. So if we introduced a ton of humidity and now suddenly the dew point in the car is, say, 30 degrees, and I bring a camera that's at 10 degrees into that vehicle, then it's going to condense on that. But that would have to be a ton of moisture to raise that dew point that high. And in a vehicle, you're just not introducing moisture like that. Uh, so I can bring my camera gear in and out of the car at will. I've never had an issue, not one time, with condensation. The one time I've had an issue with condensation was when I was in Hawaii and the camera was in the vehicle where it was nice and air-conditioned and it was a hot humid day outside the camera got down to say 75 degrees and then when i stepped outside into 85 degrees uh, the dew point was probably 80 it was very high humidity then boom immediately that moisture condenses because the dew point the camera at 75 degrees was colder than the dew point which was at 80. it's completely different here though where the camera can be 20 below zero but the dew point is 30 below zero just because there's no moisture left in the air it's all it's a very dry we're at high altitude it's dry it's freezing cold so all that moisture is already uh, condensed out of the air does that make sense so that's the uh, the quick version feel free to ask me any other questions you have but uh, 
that's the simplest version of it. You know, same thing with your house or a hotel room. If you're bringing cold gear into that environment, if you're not introducing a bunch of humidity, like if your house has a humidifier and you're boiling water, you're cooking, and five people live there and two dogs, all those things are generating humidity. So you're going to have more humidity in that space than there was outside. Um, but as long as your camera gear is warmer than the actual dew point of that environment, then you won't condense. Uh, so it's it's worth thinking about if there's any chance of you know that humidity, that dew point uh, being at a place where you could condense, then do take some precautions. Wrap your camera gear in something airtight to keep that humidity from getting in. Uh, it's not about keeping the heat away because heat won't condense anything. It's the moisture that you're trying to keep out. So if you seal your camera in a bag, you wrap up that camera in a bag and zip it up, uh, then you can bring it anywhere and the humidity isn't gonna be able to get to it. And then by the time you let that warm up uh, above the dew point, then you can open it up and then there's the humid air can get in, but it's not gonna condense on your gear because your camera's already warmed up above that dew point. Okay, so I hope that helps. Uh, it's intended to be a quick explanation. Uh, thermodynamics class in college was a long time ago. So uh, I'm not giving you like the, the full um, scientific explanation of what's going on there, but dew point is the thing to think about and is your camera colder than the dew point? That's where you're gonna run into problems. So keep an eye on the dew point. You can check that on your app, on your phone, uh, and then you just kind of have to guess about the humidity levels. You know, you can test it. If your glasses, if you're wearing glasses and you walk into the, your hotel room and they fog up, well then your gear's gonna fog up too. If they don't fog up, then your gear won't. Like when I get back in my car here in a minute, these aren't gonna fog up because there's no humidity to uh, condense on those in the vehicle. Okay, so thanks for watching. Leave me any other questions in the, uh, in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. And I uh, hope that helped. Have a great day, see ya.